It's got a 1246 signal right there, and at about six inches down, I popped out some kind of aluminum token. Unfortunately, it's really, really crusty, and I can't tell much about it, but I think I can make out the word Jack. I don't know. Maybe it's a Cracker Jack token or a Cracker Jack coin. We'll have to get it cleaned up a little better and see what we can get off of it later. Just got another one of these white glass jars on a 1247 signal. It's the second one of these I've found out here like this. I wonder how old those are. Some kind of cream, I guess, or makeup. I don't know. Right, we'll look it up after a while and see if we can find anything else on it. I believe that's pretty old, though. That one rang up just like a copper penny. Right down there, maybe four or five inches down. Great seal button. Getting dark here, but I just got that on a 12-24 signal. And uh, looks like it's gold gilted or I think it's a button. I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll get it cleaned up and get a better look at it after a while. But that's pretty cool. That's about, I guess, six inches down there. Had a really jumpy sounding signal here that was going from high tone to low tone. Uh, didn't really sound all that good at all, but as I flipped over the plug, it's pretty clear now. Solid 26, 27. I'd say that's in the uh, dime range, so we'll go ahead and do the reveal on camera. There's a pretty good chance it's going to be silver in this area. Right here in this clump. Yep, I can see the edge of a coin right there. Well, it's not a dime, it's a quarter. already tell that's going to be a barber use the foo foo juice so the coin police don't get us always somebody griping about me scratching coins a lot of this mud's on there so thick though you can't really get off with the uh, water not in a timely fashion anyway we have 1909 I don't see a mint mark there. All right, guys, so first silver for the week. I'm gonna keep on going. We'll see what else we can come up with. They got a lot of iffy signals today. Again, this one sounded terrible before I flipped the dirt out of the hole, but now it sounds really good. Right in the quarter range, so. I haven't seen it yet. We'll see it together. OK. 
okay. He's in that clump right there. Yep. You can see the edge of it right there. Another barber quarter. It's like a 1910 or a 1916. It's a 1916. It's like it's got a mint mark. Looks like a 1916D. All right, so second barber quarter of the day. Let's see if we can get a couple more.